we want to build an audio player app with Flutter. And therefore we have created in the last video already a recorder app where we have recorded an audio file. And this file we want to play right now within our Flutter app. If you're new here, subscribe to my channel and make sure to watch this video till the end. We want to use this Flutter sound package with which you can play audio files from your local file storage or you can also play any audio file from the internet. In the last video we have created the start button and if we click on it then we are recording an audio which we now want to play if we click here on our second button play recording. Therefore I have created here a simple elevated button that you see here on the right side, this play recording button. And here we can then toggle a field and if I set it to true then he will switch here this button to stop playing and if it is set to false then it says play recording. And now if we click here on this button then we want to start the recording and therefore we simply create here a new class and here inside I create then a Flutter sound player. And this comes directly from this package and we also want to create a play method and here on our audio player we simply call the start player method. Inside of it you need to put then simply a URL or you can put here a file inside. So in my case I take then the file that we have created before while recording here our audio and I have simply stored this file at this location. And now we want to play here simply this file and secondly we also want to create a method stop so that we can also stop our audio player. Lastly we want to combine both of these methods inside of a new method toggle playing and here we basically check if our audio player is currently stopped and if this is the case then we can start our player again and if it is not stopped then we want to stop our player. So in my case I have made both of these play and stop methods private because I only want to use here one method and this is more convenient for me. Before we want to use this toggle playing method we also want to go here back to our play method and here inside you have also a callback when finished and if it is finished then we want to call here later our callback and I also put here then inside of this toggle playing this callback and I pass it then here to this method. All right, and that's already everything. And now we can go back to our main UI. And here inside within the state, I want to create then a sound player. And this is exactly here this player that we have created before. And secondly, we want to make use of our player. So we want to access here this sound player. And therefore I simply go here inside of this play recording button. And if we press on this button, then we want to call this toggle playing method that we have created before. To make this work you also need to initialize your player and therefore you simply go here all the way up inside of the init state and dispose method and here we want to call then a player init method that we want to create together and also within the dispose method we want to clean up our player again. Next go to your sound player and here inside we want to create then these both methods. First of all the init method where we initialize here what we have declared here at the top and we also need to open our audio session so that we can listen to some audio. And secondly we want to create then here the dispose method where we also need to close our audio session again so that we free our resources again up. And now we can try it out so I can record here some audio and if I click then on stop then it is saved within our file storage. And lastly we want to play then here this recording and this will now play here the recording however you cannot hear it. And we also need to change here then our button while it is playing. To change also the button let's go here back to our main file and then we go here to our play button. And here we need to do two things. First of all we need to call here set state when it is finished with our playing. And secondly we also need to call the set state here after this method. And with this we make sure that our UI is rebuilt every time if we click here on this button. And we also want to change then our button if we click on it. So before we have toggled here our button over this false and true flag. And this time we want to check it then if our player is playing. Therefore let's go also to our sound player and here inside we create then a new method and here we basically check if our audio player is currently playing or not. All right, let's try it out. So I have here a recording and I click on playing and you see that the button is then changing and now for five seconds he is then playing the sound and then he will switch here back to the play recording button.
Let's also look at the case if you don't want to play then your file from your file system that we have recorded. So you can also supply here inside of this from URI simply here a URL to your file which you want to play. So in this case an mp3 for file. And secondly you also need to supply here then inside the codec of this file. So in this case it's an mp3 file. And now if you click here on this play recording button, then he will simply play here this music that you have inside of this URL. As a small tip, if you want to play any audio file from your assets or from your file system, then make sure that you check out here the documentation. And here inside you find then basically also the code how you can do it. So basically you create here a player and you call then this start player from stream. And here inside you get then also and load some asset data or your file data from your file storage. And after this you also put then the data inside of this player. So if you want to learn more about it then make sure that you check out the documentation. And by the way if you want to get here the source code of the sample application then you can get it with the first link in the description. And with the second link you can get access to my Flutter courses where I teach you how you can become a better and more efficient developer. If you like this video make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel.